boys refuse to grow up to be men. They want to play that. They want to use that term men when it's convenient. Yeah. yeah I'm a man because I'm, I'm a man. Any real man don't go around and tell people I'm a man. Yeah. I've never real heard men any of them say that. do it handle their business. Real men just do it. Yeah. But when you hear boys talk about, oh, I'm a man, I got a gang of kids, and blah, blah, blah. First of all, you're taking care of them. Mm-hmm. That's my first question. And when you hear people talk, well, I got four or five kids, are you taking care of them? Because it's hard. Very hard. When you got more than three, I mean, it's very hard. I mean, it's the fact that you have three, I thought, technically would be the max if they're active and have sports and stuff. Yeah, exactly. So what could you possibly be doing with four plus children? They're looking at the – everybody, the boys look at the money aspect of it. All oh, because you sent home money. the money? Yeah, I sent that money and no. that money should deal with this. That's such a small part of it. It's a it's a good part of it, but a small part of it because you also got to be there for that kid's emotional mm-hmm. well being. You have to properly influence your children. Yes, mm-hmm. if you don't, society will, mm-hmm. or that guy who's now raising will. You don't know mm-hmm. who that guy is, or no one will properly influence your child, and he'll probably be a man child. He'll yes. stay a boy. Yes. Mm-hmm, which we see today. We see it all the time. Next year, you know, she he she he driving the girl's car. She going to work, baby boy. Um, he's not huh. doing anything, and then when, when we get paid, or yeah, I ain't and then got no you're money. mad because the woman is mad that you're driving around in her vehicle. In her car, you ain't on insurance. While she's at work, and you're picking up other women, but somehow when she says enough is enough, you mad. Yep. It's like that's the audacity, <laughs> and that is the reason why. We have to go back and make some changes on how we deal with raising kids as men. Mm-hmm. Real men know that we got to do what they need to do. And then we talk about real men, how real men think. When my son was, since he's been around, and there's times when I'll be in the living room and I, at nighttime he sleep, wife sleep, and I'm looking out the window like, am I doing enough? Mm-hmm. You know, I'm, I'm busting my butt. I'm working, you know, 12 hour days and everything. Am I really, truly doing enough to take care of him? And let me tell you, my 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 father in law, he passed. I missed that man, great man. And I asked him that question. He said, "Son, that's what men do. Men don't sit back and go bed and think like, oh, I've done all I can do and go bed and sleep very well. He said, you don't. Because as a man, you're always looking to make sure that you're taking care of your family at every turn, making sure that you're doing enough to take care of your family at every yeah. turn. So when I was like, so it's not unusual that I'm up at 2 or 3 in the morning. You know, I go in there, I see my wife in there sleep. She comfortably sleep. My mm-hmm. son, he in there sleep. I go in there and kiss him on the head. Like, you know, I'm just happy. I'm just hoping that I'm the role model for you i'm mm-hmm. hoping i'm doing enough to to say hey you you gonna learn how to be a man for me um and those are those are constant things that, that i always told myself growing up you know with the family with a young child that am i doing enough and i keep pushing myself and those that's what men do men you you go out your way and make sure you're doing all you can to make sure that you take care of your family absolutely um but there's a lot of guys that don't think that way i i mean Hmm. That that when you say they go to sleep real easy, I can understand why some men would drink. That's gonna put them to sleep. They're not sitting up thinking about that all night. No. They said, "No, let me toss two back and get rid of those thoughts and go to sleep." Cause I'm gonna have to wake up and do it all over again. I and, can understand. Okay. And that's why a lot of them they they use things because let me tell you, there's times that I would get up at six. Son got to be at school by 8, 15. I'll be at work, and then I'll come down, pick him up from school. Then if he got, you know, if he got lacrosse or whatever, then we go get something to eat, and then he has homework and all that. But for me, I still got work to do, you mm-hmm. know. So I'm, I'm spending my time, quality time and everything with him. Then I got to go, I got to work because I got to make up for the time during the day that I didn't work. Absolutely. So I got to do that. That was that was a given. And I, I mean, for you, this time he would wake up, and be like looking for me, like, damn, you still working? Yeah, going back to sleep, son. This ain't, this, this ain't your concern. You go, you going to school. You being good. That, you that's did your a, job. That's your you job. did your task. Yeah. My job is staying here, making sure I take care, of handling my business, to make sure I take care of the family, right. so the family doesn't want for anything. 